Hi. Um, so I was just wondering what you maybe thought about Chinese co-productions and mm -hmm. Chinese-only scenes. Do you think that by having a film that's catered traditionally to Western audiences, such as films in the superhero genre, such as Iron Man 3, mm -hmm. having specific scenes and sequences which only people in China can see that we never get to view, do you think that alienates you as a viewer, particularly a Western viewer, to wanting to go see these films, do you think that alienates you? Mm -hmm. How do you think you feel about that? I don't think it would bother me. You don't think it would bother you? I don't think it would bother me. I think I'm, I'm happy with the original cut if there's extra scenes put in for a particular market. It wouldn't particularly bother me. No. Uh, they'll uh, be approached by like a Chinese um, company who will help finance uh, an American film and it will become a co-production. And then uh, the result of that will be like Chinese extra scenes um, in American films such as Iron Man 3. Did you see Iron Man 3? Sure. I didn't see Iron Man 3. Oh, um, no, 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 no. Were there extra scenes? Did you know about, were you aware of that? Uh, I wasn't aware that they were in Iron Man 3. No. Oh, okay. I, I am aware of the, the Chinese financing, but I'm not, oh. I'm not exactly sure which oh, no, ones. Yeah. Look for it. Uh, in terms of, it's essentially the same film, mm -hmm. and they're doing it for commercial reasons to a certain extent. They're going to, as, as you say, that they um, we use Chinese actors or things that are more popular in China. Yeah. Totally get that. It's the film industry, certainly for a film like Iron Man, for mm -hmm. instance, something like that. It's just about money. It's yeah. not about making a great film. So that doesn't annoy money. you. That doesn't. You don't find it irritating. It's, it's, it's the, the film industry in terms of. I have to accept that it's a business, mm -hmm. and that they're the big films that get released in the multiplexes are there to make money. Yeah. And that's it. Um, and if they're going to change that for different markets, that's like any business. Like any business will change. Yeah. yeah. Marketing and advertising for specific markets because mm -hmm. it knows how to make more money. Mm -hmm. If they're doing that with cut, uh, different cuts in different films, different industries, I imagine that's just the progress of the industry. Um, so you think that by them making co-productions for financial reasons, you, that doesn't you don't think that that's them screening out of, like your film? You think that's just their way of making money because it's business. You know. Whether you think it bothers you that potentially a film series which you love might get uh, a cut which you never get to see and extra extra content which you never get to see. Do you think that bothers you? Um, I think it would depend what the extra content was and why okay. they deemed it significant to insert it for the Chinese players. Um, and maybe I guess if people have watched both um, and then you know, maybe relate to us if there's anything particular missing. Um, but it doesn't really, I don't think it bothers me so much uh, okay. at this point. Yeah, so but. if it started to become a much more regular thing, then there yeah. was sort of... I think with action films and that sort of thing, I don't think it would bother me. But maybe more, you know, really story-based films. Uh, okay, um, yeah. So then maybe I would wonder why they were editing You'd like the whole version, not just a version yeah. that's stripped down for us? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's okay. Okay, I mean, movie prices are going constantly up and up anyway. Um, DVD, you know, if you like your movie, you buy the DVD anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I think they screw it all over by doing 3D movies, which oh, okay. I think is, is a lot more expensive and it's a good marketing tool as well. And in today, the movie wants to make as much money as it can. Okay. I think it's rather pointless to do that. And do you think, as long as the film is interesting in its own right, you don't mind if changes were made, led into the Western cut over here, for example, if there were Chinese characters which weren't originally supposed to be in it, which were put into the film, when it became a co-production. And, and it was seen in... Here, seen yeah. What, simply catering for the Chinese market. Yeah. Do you think uh, that would stand out to you? Would that bother you? I don't think it would, I don't think it would bother me. Um, I understand that... Or, you know, the US in particular wants to get into China, there's a big market mm -hmm. over there and it's sometimes difficult to infiltrate that. Yeah. So I guess from a financial point of view, I appreciate that. Whether I agree with it or not, I'm not sure and I'm probably not. Okay. Probably not. I guess if the scene, if the right hasn't originally um, envisioned having that scene in the film, then why add these extra films just to cater for a particular audience? So if it was envisioned from the start, you envisioned from be... the start. If if the script was written and then yeah. well, we've got these Chinese co-producers and they want these extra scenes. But I would I would see them as a bit kind of superfluous to the to the plot because yeah. they weren't originally why why put them yeah. in. Why put them in? Um, it applies to you know those specific. Um, Often very high budget films, yeah, yeah. Um, and 
Uh, so it doesn't really affect you. It doesn't affect because I didn't. I didn't tend to watch those type of uh, yeah. films. Uh, do you think that alienates you as a Western viewer? I wouldn't necessarily say it alienates me. I mean, so I'd say to a certain extent, I would better access a lot of things. Yeah. I mean, quite a lot of people, most people are quite savvy, internet savvy mm -hmm. now, they could access. It's more, I wouldn't, I wasn't aware of it, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been able to go, I literally wouldn't know it was there. Yeah. I mean, I, I would have done, um, like, I'm getting older now, I, I don't tend to, um, I, I don't mind uh, watching them, but I, I guess it is a very particular type of film that would be violence by China. Oh, so as long as you enjoy it over here, you don't yeah, mind yeah, yeah. what another country gets? No, no, I think if you go to a movie and you enjoy it, I think that's the most important thing. Okay. And that's value for money, I think. Brilliant, thanks. Do you think this alienates you as a Western viewer? Do you think that the fact that another country gets scenes which you never get to see is yeah. bothersome? Um, I think, uh, well, I mean, obviously a lot of these films are made, but it's, it's sort of, we're in the middle, because it's a kind of UK audience. It's made for, a, a lot of these films are kind of made for an American audience, and they, um, so they're actually made for American audience tastes in terms of their uh, screening, um, in terms of test screenings, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Now, what's yeah. going to be happening is that the uh, uh, Chinese financing is influencing what used to be that, through that process kind of test uh, test screenings, etc. Uh, in another way, yeah. um, but from from the level of production, which has always been influence, there's always been a lot of influence in, in, in uh, particularly Hollywood films mm -hmm. in terms of uh, financing, and that's always you know. So you don't really the director, although it's very difficult to say director will ever have a final cut, mm -hmm. but when you have, especially certain interesting directors who have a certain vision or, yeah. or sort of um, body of work that you like, if they then start to have to change things, then there's a blurring of what should have been produced in the first place, mm -hmm. and then what I would want to see from certain filmmakers. If you know. But I'm, I'm not saying that the films like that I would be interested in those kind of films yeah. would never happen to. But I think it's going to be certainly more apparent in, say, like the, the huge blockbusters. Yeah. So until that happens, until I'm aware of it, it's going to be no more annoying for me. If you know what I mean? Than the current trend of. Yeah. Popcorn movies. I think it's just a sign, in some ways I think it's just a sign of the times. I think uh, it would be a problem if, um, I mean there's always going to be, you know, a struggle to make independently financed films yeah. where uh, artistic direction is not compromised mm -hmm. or uh, at least um, influenced a lot by financing. I think Hollywood has always had this very strong um, uh, influenced by through the, 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 the finances mm -hmm. um, and that this is a sign of times that now you know Chinese money is coming in yeah um, I think um, I don't know what if they ever strike a you know what kind of a balance um, needs to be struck and also what kind of scenes are being changed and so that, that's something that I'm not too sure about But you don't think it's something that's affecting us now, really? Not, not now so no. much, I don't think, as far as I know. But again, it, it, is, it does tend to be those big finance Hollywood, you know, blockbuster films.